So we are interviewing Elmar Gibelet. Gibelet, yes. Elmar Gibelet. And you live in Paris, but you're also Icelandic. Yes, it's correct. Okay. So tell me, you've been here now for two days at the conference. What has the conference kind of meant to you? You're 14 years old. You're probably the youngest person here. I am. Uh, and so it's really important for us to get your perspective, the youth perspective. Well, uh First, it was supposed to be uh, uh, one of my old teachers uh, who was supposed to come here. And because she knew that she couldn't come, uh, she thought of an Icelandic boy and she thought of me. So now I'm here and uh, it's really inspiring. Those two uh, last days were really inspiring because um, the there's a thing that we say often is every day we learn something new. And I think that this experience we uh, we learn a ton of new things mm -hmm. and uh, it's inspiring and it's a motivating place to be so when you were in France the nightclub bombing took place at the Bacalan yeah. uh, and for a young person to see that unfolding and then to come to a conference like this which is promoting peace and cooperation and collaboration how does that resonate? How does that hit you? Well, uh, when uh, Le Bataclan uh, was uh, attacked, um, I was sleeping, but it was uh, an emotional moment, I think not just for Paris, but uh, for, for the whole world, because it was just person who wanted to have fun because they were listening to music. And uh, to be here, I think it's, uh, it's, um, it's to fight against violence but we're fighting with pens and words and um, experience. I think we're fighting with our hearts. We're fighting with our spirit. And that's why I think it's called Spirit of Humanity. It's our togetherness and our community just together, uh, just fighting for, uh, uh, for a non-violence world. Do you think that we can f create a non-violent world? I mean, you're a young person, you've got a long life ahead of you, and, and uh, things have not been this violent probably since the Second World War when you weren't even here. Uh, but do you think that we can find a way to live together? You have a very multicultural society in France? Well, I think that anything's possible, that if you have, as long as you believe, you can. And I think that being here proves that yes if uh, if we strong enough and if we believe and if like I said often if we listen I think that uh, I think that yes we can have a non-violent world what's the most important thing that you've learned or heard here at the conference everything actually because everything was something new everything uh, was taking from uh, like um, some uh, speeches that were already made and they were putting their point of view and everything that I learned was everything it's so it's a way so strange but funny at the same time to see that other point of views on one same thing can, we can learn so much just by uh, just by 10 persons what can you take back to France and communicate to other young people about what you heard and experienced here? If I could set it in one world, I could say happiness. Happiness? Yes. And why? Everybody here is, everybody here is concentrated, but concentrated in a way where they're interested, they're happy, they're here to not just learn, but to discover. Mm -hmm. They are, they're taking their curiosity, and like I said in my speech, we have grown a barrier. And I think when I look at people like this, I see that they're trying to break this barrier. Are you optimistic? You're 14 years old, and you've probably seen a lot of things that a lot of, or heard and experienced in Paris that a lot of people haven't experienced. Are you hopeful and optimistic? Well, um, personally, I think so. I think that uh, it's something that we lost is hope. And uh, I always been searching for the positive side. Not always, but I always been trying. Mm -hmm. 
he, even sometimes we forget and there's something that happened to every one of us we sometimes get angry or sad and we let our emotion control us so I so that's what I've been trying okay Omar thank you so much thank you for appreciate it thank you